Apparently, liberty has been preempted by COVID-19. Hope to be back soon. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, apparently, your liberty has been preempted by COVID-19. And speaking of the liberties that the government has saw fit to suspend because of this virus, you have state governments telling local businesses they have to close. They're threatening to yank the lit, uh, liquor license and threaten uh, eateries and bars that serve alcohol with uh, fines and uh, misdemeanor crimes. So local businesses have to close. This flower shop has to heap up all their flowers here and make an arrangement and just leave it out. It's gorgeous, but yeah. So, so on top of that, we also have city governments closing parks and su making mild suggestions that people should uh, shelter in place. But uh, I'm starting to see the fact that they're gonna use this incrementally to turn up the heat and make it mandatory. So yeah, so they deny uh, you know millions of Americans the ability to make a living. Then they turn around and say you can't leave the house, restrict your movement, so you can't go out and try to find another job. Meanwhile, Trump just recently, a few days ago, freed up five, five and a half billion dollars to deal with this crisis, and he's not doing anything with that money to help the American people. It's all being used on National Guard and a bunch of other uh, stuff, you know, saving America one uh, large business at a time. He's met with all these business leaders to start manufacturing various things that we needed. Um, there's a word for that. You know, it's got uh, three syllables. It starts with an F. Oh yeah, that's fascism. So uh, yeah, so the president is deciding uh, which of those businesses get to use that money and where it goes. Meanwhile, we're already uh, starting to lose paychecks. The American people, the common people are just getting screwed over. So yeah, wonderful. Great response government has. Stay home, you can't work, screw you. Thanks, government. I have a few things I'd like to add. To sum up, the government's response to all of this pandemic hysteria is to basically control the common people, sequester them, dominate them using fear. Okay. Most people only have like about a week's worth of stuff in the grocery store. So the, the government's response to this uh, to help you is to tell people they can't go to work. Use the power of licensing uh, and have governors around the various states threaten uh, service industry uh, workers and uh, all businesses that if they don't close, they'll yank their license. And... Um, the, the, the corporate media, the, the, the media that most people are, are trusting for this type of stuff are just merely aping the talking points of these people. They're like mandatory shelter in place, like government give or governor gives order. So basically government is forcing you not to work. Government is forcing you not to go out and look for other work. Government is closing federal parks in local city parks, government is basically telling you to stay home and starve, yet Trump allocated five and a half billion dollars to help people. Okay, this quarantine is as much of the people as it is of this virus. Okay, and I got a newsflash for people. You won't hear it anywhere else except independent news, but uh, here's the thing. If you haven't noticed, there is a few different classes of people in America. You have the regular working stiff, you have the working poor, and then you have the federal class of human being. Okay, this is the way the system treats these people. And the federal class of human beings and the political classes are the ones that are being treated better and the ones that are being isolated from everyone else. Okay, here's the thing, right? For continuity of government, most... Government workers have about a three-month supply of food and everything else. So, those that are in charge of controlling everything aren't sweating this one little bit. 
Meanwhile, the common person has about a week's worth of stuff, if that, in their pantry and in their refrigerator. What do you think is going to happen when these people start running out of food? Okay, there is not enough law enforcement to contain all of that. And there's not enough National Guard to contain all of that. If the common people decide to start walking outside and trying to survive, it's going to get real ugly. Because, look... Government services here in Oregon are already begging the people to make protective masks to donate uh, personal protection gear from viruses like, uh, you know, N95 masks to them because they're running out. What do you think is going to happen when people start leaving their houses to scavenge for food and it's up to the National Guard and the police that don't even have enough of this protective gear has to try to police them? Okay, what's going to happen is everybody's going to get sick. Okay, you can't fight with people and force them into cages without getting sick. So the National Guard, I don't care about their shiny uniforms, but they're not immune from diseases. This could get really bad, people. And now for the e-begging part of the video. Look, guys, I'm a person of meager means. YouTube is my primary source of income, and I've been getting screwed really hard for the past two years. Look, my video on this subject of COVID-19 has 72 views. I don't understand how I can have 20,400 subscribers and have a video that has 72 views. That is some really weird math YouTube just expects me to swallow, and I don't really have a choice. Okay, as you can see, they demonetized my last two videos. One of them was a joke, and the other one was serious, and leading up to this actually really serious video where I'm talking about some issues that need to be addressed. Okay, but as you can see, videos that I uh, talk about uh, other things other than COVID-19 are monetized. So to add insult to injury, I can't profit from the media I create because of just being screwed over by not allowing my viewers to actually see the videos, but... The federal government gets to run this coronavirus uh, disease, COVID-19 propaganda on my video. I'm being algorithmically censored by YouTube. My videos will usually do about a, when I upload something, I get a one view per minute for the first, I don't know, 100 views. And then it's like my video hits this invisible wall and the, the, the views trickle in and I average about two or 300 views a video. It's just crazy. So the long story short of this is that if I'm going to be funded to continue to do this stuff, I'm going to need help from the viewers. So my PayPal link is associated with my uh, email address, which can be found beneath this. You can also support my work by sharing it with other people. You can also sign up for my Patreon beneath this. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm going to do what I can to report what I can, but if I'm out having to hustle and do other things, well, I might not have time to do these videos. Thanks for watching.